Vi er på vej over til den kæmpe store fagioli den store røde kran, som er den, der bliver brugt til at løfte de store brupille fundamenter ned på plads. Og øh, som man kan se derovre, så står der allerede en brupille klar på kranen, som er ved at blive monteret, så kranen kan komme i arbejde. Den nye Storstrømsbro bliver Danmarks tredje største bro og skal på sine 4 km via Masnede Ø forbinde Sjælland og Falster. Den nye Storstrømsbro bliver bygget som erstatning for den gamle, fordi hele forbindelsen mellem København og Hamburg skal opgraderes, så det står klar, når tunnelen under Femernbælt er bygget færdig. Thank you. Yeah. Morning. Morning. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. When you're standing here, it, it looks really big. Yeah. Can you tell me what what are they doing right now? They are connecting the lifting pad ice, taking uh, approximately 5-10% of the load. Then we will start ballasting, putting uh, water inside the, the main bars that is in the middle. Nice. And after about 2,000 ton of water, it means one hour of uh, pumping. Yeah. This one will be lifted. I think we were gonna lift this one in two, three hours, and then to go down completely, we will finish around 10 o'clock this evening. Is it like a everyday work for you? No, it's always, it's always a, every single operation is a critical operation, is one of a kind. We are all here because of this. They are holding the position. Those yeah. two big winches. Okay. Four guys, right. and we have the, the control station where we are there, and we just pull, stop, pull, stop. All right. To maneuver it. To maneuver it, yeah. It takes a lot of time, like half an hour, one hour. Yeah. And it's very delicate because all, uh, all environmental changes, like a little gust of wind, it moves, and you need to compensate. You need to predict all the movements. It's really challenging. <laughs> it's, But you look like you think it's fun. As no, well. it's fun, it's fun. <laughs> I, I will not do this job if, uh, if, uh, if I don't think like this. And the position here, how, how precise is that? I can show you on the yeah. computer if you want. Okay. <laughs> At the moment we are uh, 0.57 centimeter out of position. When we will go in the final positioning, oh, this one is going to be 0, 0, 0. And right. we will play with the winches for a while. <laughs> okay. It takes some time. Like five centimeter, we move, we are in position, all green, we settle down. So you have an elevator. Um. Luckily for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. This is going to be one of the highest points in Denmark. It's 26 meter high. <laughs> At least of more than more. Maybe the goose tower is a little bit higher. I don't know. <laughs> Can you feel the wind? It's increasing. Ah, yeah. You can imagine during the winter time. We have the winter suit and everything, but when you are working up here, is okay. Please. I hope you don't suffer over vertigo too much. Thank you. Well, it is a nice view from right here. Yeah. And those are the strange eggs. And those cylinders, the speed uh, is about six meters per hour. So you can, you can understand why we take so long. But it's an enormous crane, this one. Yeah. Is it just me or is this a big crane? Yeah, it is. It is big. It's, it's the total capacity is 2,500 ton for this one. Yeah. It's been tested for uh, approximately 3,000. Right. 3,000 ton, you don't find a lot of crane on the market. He's starting to lift with the jack there. You see the, how much is low. It's actually going up, but it's very slow. I see, yeah. So how, how does it work? Yeah. When you want to lift up, you open the one on top, yeah. and you lift, and you reach here. Then you close this, you right. open this, you go down. Okay. So that's why the hydraulic can only work that slowly? slowly. Exactly. And this noise you can hear is the pumps, the hydraulic pumps pumping oil and they have to move a big mass of oil. We normally work around 300 bar. Nu er de fire store gule klemmer altså blevet sat fast, og nu er det blevet tid til, at kranen skal løfte i hvert fald en lille smule op i råpillen her. We had a little issue. One of these prism right. is positioned on top. And it's been mesh, it's mesh when we came in, and now we have to take action and replace it. Ah, I see. It fell off? Uh, yeah, it's meshed when we came inside. We are two centimeter higher, I don't know, it's really, 
a little bit too much. Because right. if we have to gain uh, less than five centimeter accuracy, they need to be more accurate than a millimeter. Yeah. Otherwise, we will never gain a perfect, perfect position. position. Right. Uh, we are we are bringing with another uh, multi cut tag, one boom lift. We will uh, put it on top and then go up there and uh, replace it. Okay. Did you call this big crane to to fix that you know that small prism? Yeah. We're supposed to go there to lift one block. But since the block is not ready and we need a, a lift to go up there, we said, okay, guys, stop here and we do the job. It was right. faster because it was already sailing. Right, because it looks a little bit big for that small piece. This is 600, <laughs> 600 ton capacity. It's quite, a, quite And the much. prism is like 20 grams. Maybe, yes. <laughs> now they are, they are repairing it. Easy boom down, easy boom down. Okay, stop. One touch left. And now they put it on, the new one. Exactly. So it's important that now, okay, now you have a new reflector on the, exactly. on the top, but you need to know exactly where it is. Where it is. And that's what the surveyor is going to do. It's just to set it up the total station. He will do this uh, as built. Yeah. Once this is done, put it back in the software with the new configuration, the new coordinates, and then we start the, the operation. Nu begynder de at gå ned her under prammen, og det er fordi det her nede, at pumperne er. Og de skal sættes i gang nu, sådan så prammen kan blive sænket, og det med kan blive fri af brugpillen og altså komme væk. Let's come down. Here is the pump room. And uh, now he's opening up for the suction of the water from the from the sea. Right. And we are starting to ballast inside uh, the central tanks of the of the barge of the pram. And how many liters are you going to pump in? It's going to be around 2,300 okay. ton. And there should be enough uh, to do the the lift off. Right. Bad on. Has it lifted? Yeah, we are ready now. Yeah? Side. Oh yeah. Nu har vi altså gået her og ventet i lidt over en time, næsten halvanden time. Men nu kan man også se de første millimeter, den, uh, den har sluppet prammen her. Det betyder altså, at nu er det ikke længere prammen, der holder den, nu er det, nu er det kranen, der holder den. See, the, the engine is increasing the, the, the RPMs, power, yeah. the power, and then it's taking the load, full load. Wow. Next uh, stroke, it will be completely up. Okay. It's almost now 90% on the catamaran. Okay, I think that's it. Thank you. 1,900 ton. Wow, oh, now it's lifting. <laughs> then the, the, the two tugboats will come and then we slowly go out okay. with this barge. Once this is out, this will start go down. Nu er vi så i gang med at sænke den ned, og det tager nok en 4-5 timer. Og hvad sker der så, når den kommer ned i vandet? Så taber den cirka halvdelen af vægten, hvor vi så tjekker positionen, om den passer, som den skal være. Nogle gange så kan det godt afvige, fordi strømmen kommer ind imellem og skubber den væk. Ja. Men igen, det kommer også an på, hvordan opfører du den så, når den er nede i vandet. Om der er meget strøm eller om der er mange både, der sejler forbi. Det kan også give bølger og få skubbet lidt til. Ja, både pænt, men også katamaranen her. Ja, og så skal I just igen. igen. Ja. Det skal være præcis til sidst. Ja, vi har 5 cm at gøre godt med. Ja. Og tolerance. Hvor lang tid tror du, det kommer til at tage? Ja, jeg vil skyde på 4 timer. Okay. Stille og roligt. <laughs> 